Hello everyone, this is me Erica, and welcome to my channel. So if you guys don't know me or if you're new here, my name is Erica. Welcome to my channel, Erica's Everything. So a few videos ago, I did a two week ab challenge and I thought to myself, no, I want more. <laughs> and this time it's not going to be abs, it's going to be the booty. So I embarked on a two week booty challenge. Same deal as last time. If you guys didn't check it out, I will definitely link it in the description. And I know what you're thinking. Oh, look at that. I have a two pack. I know what you're also thinking. Have I done abs since that video? No. <laughs> no, I have not done abs. I'm going to be doing the two week booty challenge by Daisy Keat, very minimal movement at home type of exercise that's also 10 minutes and I think it's around 10 exercises as well. It'll also be linked in the description for you guys to follow along and do it too with me if you want. So here are some before clips of how I look currently and how the peach is sitting right now. So I am someone who does go to the gym. I go around three times a week and I won't be going at all because I wanna do this solely based off of the two weeks that I do at home and also like last time no change to my diet i'll be eating whatever i want whenever i want in two weeks i'm going to be wearing the exact same outfit so that we have no discrepancies there's no illusion of clothing or anything like that so here's some before footage just to get an idea of where we're starting from and our base point so as we can see in the before footage i'm sitting around 37 inches for my hips the youtuber daisy keach alone has 3 million subscribers and this video in particular has around 34 million views. So there has to be something, some method to the madness here that I'm not seeing. So we're about to find out in these two weeks what is really going on here. And I'm just saying this again, this is the Quarantine Bubble Butt Workout by Daisy Keach. And I'm going to be doing this for two whole weeks, that's 14 days. For this challenge specifically, not going to the gym, not adding any extra exercises other than this 10 minute video. Okay, so I just finished day one and <laughs> I have some thoughts. Some of these exercises I've never seen or done before. There was like this one where it's like a knee tap and I've never done it before and like I would have never thought to do that. So at the end of this challenge, yeah, my butt is burning and that is what we wanted. Uh, there's a lot of like circles and stuff like that. I think for me personally, it's a little low energy. And yeah, these ones did burn in a different way. Like my body was definitely not used to these because they were like completely new exercises. I've never heard or seen some of these before. Day one, flew by like a breeze, feel good. Not sweating as much as the ab ones. Okay guys, just finished day three, and I don't know what it is about day three, but it was a little harder than the last two days. So it all just compounded into today. So day one was a breeze, day two, breeze. I even did it in my pajamas right before bed. Didn't even break a sweat. Day three, didn't break a sweat, but I did feel my blood pumping. And I did see that I was a little bit out of breath, but no, no sweat was broken. Just a little bit harder than the last two days. So I find that like soreness always comes in on the third day for me. So today was a little bit sore and like I felt my butt was burning for sure. Okay guys, this was day six. And if you are lazy like me, uh, I just did the whole workout on my bed. <laughs> now, is it recommended? I don't think so. I just did it because I was like, oh, I'm way too tired to do it on the floor. I'm just showing you guys that I did it even on my bed. Even if it wasn't 100% effort, it was at least better than zero effort. As long as you are putting in the work. So yeah, that was day six. All right, you guys, I just wanted to give you a quick one week update. I've been doing it for seven days, back to back consistently. So here's some footage from that. So it's not a fully 100% fair comparison because I know these shorts look differently on me than my last pair. 
in the two week check in, that's when I'll have on the exact same outfit from day one so that we can better compare it together. A little bit of soreness throughout the workout, but it goes away within a couple of minutes after it. And there's no soreness from the next day or anything like that. It's just during the workout and that's it. Alright you guys, I just finished day 10 and wow this one was hard. <laughs> Dang, I don't know why this one kicked my butt more than the other ones did, but yeah, today I found myself very winded. Today was a struggle, but we pumped it out, so here we go, day 10, four more days, and we are done. So yeah, just finishing off strong. Um, the workout is getting kind of tiresome because it is something that is um, very repetitive, and I find just almost like, almost borderline boring. Uh, pretty much I've just memorized it at this point, so I don't even watch the video with it. I just, um, I find that putting on a show while doing it is the best way to go about this workout. It makes it go by much faster and it just makes it a little bit more enjoyable and just a lot more faster to get through because you can't really do anything else besides just this and then watching something else. So I just like watching something else while I'm doing the workout so that I can make it a little bit more enjoyable for myself. Okay guys, I just finished day 12. So yeah, so today is going pretty good. Workout is pretty good. It is really repetitive and a little bit boring. That's kind of it, but we're still going strong. No problems here. This day flew by really quickly. Uh, I think my favorite part of the exercise is definitely either the donkey kicks, the fire hydrants, laying down circles. I like the laying down circles because you can feel them the most and know that they're working the most. Yeah, that's where I feel the most burn, so I like them a lot. Uh, as far as soreness goes, there's no soreness. I can do this once a day, every day, and I'm not gonna feel sore the next day from the last day. It's only, it's only sore during the workout. All right, you guys, I just finished day 13 and it is the second final day of the 14 day challenge. So today it went by really quickly. Uh, as I said earlier, this um, exercise is repetitive because you do the same thing on one leg on the other leg. So for me, I've memorized the exercises that come. So that was pretty good just to be able to mindlessly do it. Because I memorized it, I don't need the video open or like insight to know what I'm doing. So because of that, I'm able to like fully just watch something else. Usually my show of choice is Bob's Burgers <laughs> or it'll be like some other YouTube videos that I like to watch. It's really cool because then you're able to at least not have the video out all the time and you can just rely on your memory for that. I don't know why, but like, wow, these leggings were really working for me. Maybe it's the black leggings or I don't know what it was, but dang, my booty was popping today. If you look at some of the footage, I was just like, wow, like my booty was really popping today. I'm super excited for tomorrow's check-in. I'll be wearing the same outfit so that there is no difference in clothing that could give optical illusions or anything like that. So yeah, I'm definitely excited for tomorrow being the last day and I will definitely give all my thoughts. Okay, bye guys. All right, you guys, that was day 14. This is the last and final day that I will be doing the two week Daisy Keach booty workout challenge. So here's some footage from that. I just finished it. It's a fairly easy workout. There's not much uh, mental stimulation going on because once you memorize it, then you're good to go. And you can watch other things while you do it because it's really easy to just memorize the workouts and then focus on them because on one leg you're repeating it on the other leg. So, so you don't have to have the video pulled up while you're doing the workout because you can already memorize it and then just repeat it through memory. That's my little Christmas setup right here. Mm -hmm. I have a cute little tree. Yeah, so that was the end of day 14. So I'm excited to show you guys my new measurements and see if I grew anything. And just excited to show you guys my before and after. Okay, so as you guys can see, I believe I started this challenge off at 37 inches and I just ended the challenge 
also at 37 inches. I think, I believe I gained some more tone because as you can see, there are certain angles that just make it pop out a little bit more than other angles. And I think that it really just helped to round out my butt. Whereas I didn't really grow my butt because I didn't gain any inches. I do think that it toned it and it shaped it so that it looks a little nicer than it did two weeks ago. I wonder if I were to do this longer, if it would have um, actually grown it because I have not seen any sort of numerical change, I should say, where I started out at 37, I ended at 37. Whether or not it looks different is totally up for interpretation. I thought I would see a bigger change, but I didn't, so it's okay. And just because you don't gain or lose anything doesn't mean that it's not working either. So I think for me, this definitely just helped to tone and shape it rather than to grow it. And I think if I wanted to grow it, then I would have to be doing this for a much longer period of time rather than just two weeks. So would I prefer this over my regular leg workout? No, I don't feel it as much as when I do actually do legs at the gym where I'm doing like weightlifting, like doing squats, RDLs, Bulgarian split squats. Those ones hurt a lot and I can feel it a lot more and it just makes me have that um, mental confidence boost whether or not there was any physical change. So this one, I could feel it a little bit, but it wasn't really pushing me as much as, if, as the gym does. So I think I would just prefer to go to the gym and work out my legs there rather than doing this one just because at the gym I can go harder, I can push harder, which means that I'll just be compounding those effects to come later and give me those gains later. <laughs> yeah, as far as the workout goes, it's really not that intense. It's uh, very beginner friendly, I think and it's definitely something that's a great start. It's kind of weird because it's like, I like that it's at home, but I also don't like that it's at home because when I'm at home, I don't really want to work out. That's the hard part is just getting to the gym. So once you're at the gym, I find that I like to do more. I'll challenge myself more because it's not my home setting. I know the gym can be very intimidating and it also can be very expensive and it also can be very time consuming. So if all you have is just 10 minutes a day, then this is the workout for you and you don't wanna spend like at least an hour at the gym. Pros to this is that you can do it at home. It is very convenient, it's very quick, it's 10 minutes, it's very beginner friendly. It's not too challenging, but it's also, um, it also does give you a burn. And it's not too hard either where you're able to memorize it and then you can just do it on your own time whenever you want and it's 10 minutes so you can squeeze it in throughout the day whenever. So yeah, those are the pros. And then cons, I just don't think that it gives you the best results because it is really not too difficult. And like, you just feel the burn throughout the workout. You don't feel it any after burn. Like you don't feel it the next day or you don't feel like soreness the next day. That could also be a pro too. If you don't want to feel sore the next day, then like, yeah, you can definitely do this exercise and not feel sore the next day. I think cons is that it'll be very, slow until you see any sort of progress or results because of the fact you're only doing it for 10 minutes a day and the fact that it's really not too intense of a workout so there you have it you guys that is the two week booty challenge by daisy keach that i went on a pro to this exercise is that it is something that is very beginner friendly so this is something that anyone can do and it is just 10 minutes a day and it's something that you don't need equipment and it's something where you don't need to go outside of your house you can do it straight from your house you can do it even in your bed <laughs> which is what i did sometimes yeah so yeah because of that i find that it's uh very convenient and it's very beginner friendly and it's very easy to squeeze into your schedule and it's really short and quick it's 10 minutes a day so because it's only 10 minutes a day, I feel like your increments of improvement are going to be quite a long ways away. It'll be something where you have to do this um, exercise long term and I'm thinking you'd have to do it for like a month or two to see the bigger drastic result. And I think a con also is the fact that you don't feel sore the next day. I feel like this could be taken as a con because of the fact that usually when you do have like a heavy strenuous workout, you are sore the next day. And because of that, it kind of gives my brain that um, feeling of being like, oh, I know it's working because I was sore the next day. 
Whereas with this exercise, I never had that feeling of it's working because the next day I was never sore. Don't feel bad if you guys don't see crazy results. It's just everyone's body works different, so we process things differently. And some people have very fast metabolisms while other people have very slow metabolisms. And genetics plays a huge role in your body figure. I think the whole purpose of these uh, workout challenges is definitely the whole journey of it. You really have to fall in love with the boring side of working out and the mundane of working out. And you really do need to believe and trust in the process before you're able to see any results. If you think that working out for one day will give you results the next day, I'm here to tell you that no, it does not really work like that, no. It's not until after we put months of effort into something where we actually see a drastic difference and a result and I think that's why you really have to just trust and believe in the process of it and that's why you need to fall in love with the art of working out and like the art of being healthy or the art of anything really having the body that you want will take time you know and it really is something that you have to work at you know and some people may never actually get to the desired body shape that they want because you don't have to be that body shape you know there are so many trends changing all the time on like what is the ideal body shape that no one really can keep up with anymore like i think you just really need to be grateful for the body that you do have whether or not it is the desired shape that you want like if you're able to walk consider that a blessing so i think i think with working out you get what you give you know if you're giving all your effort then you will start to see that effort return to you yeah i'm just hoping to show you guys that it's okay to not have your ideal body shape and it's okay that you don't see results right away after two weeks the last thing that you want is to take on this challenge and after the two weeks notice that you had no change at all and then you give up on it. So there you guys have it. Those are my thoughts and my results on this two week challenge. And I'm so glad you guys watched it till the end. And don't forget, I also did the two week ab challenge that I will link in the description for you guys. And I hope to see you guys in the next one. Bye.